All right, this next uh, assignment, we're going to look at number five on page 27 in your book. And it says to open up the file called forcell.jpg from your CD. So we're going to close up Gradient. Don't save. And go File, Open. <clears throat> Under re Recent Places, go to your Unit 1, Part 2, Photoshop. And look for forcell.jpg. Click Open. And it's a uh, field with a flag and some trees in the sky in the background. Okay, we're going to select part of the sky over the right of the image with the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to click and drag right over the, the sky. Okay, what we're going to do is, since we got this select area selected, we're going to fill this with a gradient. Now, I'm going to click on the gradient tool and choose a gradient color. You can choose rainbow if you want. How do you do undo? You go to undo, you go edit, undo, or command Z is the shortcut. But uh, you can but um, the cool thing is it'll only add it to the area you have selected. I could even show you one more thing. I'm going to double click on this. And let's say I want to match this sky area. So I'm going to double click on this yellow. And uh, you see this eyedropper? Uh, see the eyedropper? I'm going to click on that and it'll match that color. Click OK. I'm going to double click on this one. Get the eyedropper. Click OK. And click on the eyedropper and then click OK and there supposedly it sort of matches the sky right there and if you go select deselect that's what you got right there and then we'll save it as edited sky jpeg so file save as Go to your Lesson 1 folder, Edited, Sky, change the for format is still JPEG because that's what it was originally, and then click Save. Okay, so we got Edited Sky.JPEG, click Save, okay, there you go. And then we just close it up, and that is it.